it's easy to think of computers as just machinery, buttons, screens, and parts that work together. But the magic of computers comes from something that makes them unique to you. This is computer software in plain English. The problem with computers is that most of us don't speak their language. We need a translator, something that can understand our needs and put the computer to work for us. The translator is called software and it makes computers useful. Look at it this way. Like a typewriter, a computer without software is just a lifeless machine. By adding software, the computer becomes more alive, easy to use, and built for you. By adding and removing software programs, you can make the computer fit with exactly what you want to do. But what is a software program? What's really happening when you open one? Think about it this way. Computers are really good at following instructions. And a software program is essentially a set of instructions that tells the computer exactly what to do. When you open a program, the computer goes to work, completing the instructions until the program is ready for you to use. The ability to add and remove software programs means that everyone's computer can be different and unique to them. But it's not limited to computers on your desk. Consider your cell phone. Just like a computer without software, it's a lifeless machine that doesn't speak our language. Thankfully, cell phones have software that bring them to life. The same thing is true for many cameras, music players, and even our cars. Every day, we rely on software to bring machines to life and make them personalized and useful. The next time you use a computer or cell phone, think about software's role in translating your needs into instructions that put the machine to work for you. I'm Lee Lefevre of Common Craft, and this has been Computer Software in Plain English. Okay, so AP Computer Science. Well, um, it was when I first like heard about the class. I thought it was just like making video games and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I gotta get in. Um, it wasn't really like that, partly, but uh. It still gave me a lot of positive things, like for what I've done up to now in college and stuff like that. For example, the logic between the logic that's like involved in all and everything that's that you do in AP Computer Science is like really important for your life and for any career, especially if you're an engineer. I assure you, you will be doing stuff related to AP Computer Science in college. Um, I had a hard time in AP Computer Science. It was it was a tough course, um, but once I got into college, I had to take an AP Computer Science class, and the difference that it made in my like in how I performed in that class was amazing. Like compared to all the other students, I was always the top student, and well, that's thanks to AP Computer Science. Uh, not only in the course itself, also you once you're finished with like. Once you finish the course, you realize that now you think a little more in terms of how can I make this work? And so it's weird, you'll start thinking like AP computer style, like, okay, so I gotta do this before this, and if this works, then do this, and it's, it's, it's a thinking pattern that's been really useful up to now in college. <laughs>